with your hands to heaven and bless the name of the most high God give him glory, give him honor the God that kept you January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Can you open your mouth and thank the Almighty God? Brethren, if you are in Nigeria and you survive all that happened in this country till now, you have every reason to say, Lord, I am grateful. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Our God desires to be praised. Our God desires to be magnified. What a glorious God. What a mighty God. What a powerful God. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worship. What shall we say? Unto the Lord. I can't hear you, sir. All, All we, we have, have to say yes, is thank you, Lord. What shall we say unto the Lord, Daddy? All, All we, we have to say yes, is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Daddy. Daddy, this is our confession. Lord, this is our declaration. For January, we say thank you. For February, we say thank you. For March, we say thank you. For April, we say thank you. May and June, we say thank you. July and August, we say thank you. For September, we say thank you. Thank you for October did not see our end. Thank you for this month of November. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for fighting our battle. Thank you for joy. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for divine distribution. Thank you for good health. Thank you for gift of life. Thank you for meeting us at the point of our need. Thank you for all around victory over all our foes. Lord, I set our thanks to the name of Jesus. Gracious Father, we thank you for what you are set to do in this month of November. Lord, I pray for all your children that have been faithful in their tithing. Jehovah God Almighty, according to your word, you will rend the heavens. You will pour them blessing that there will be no room enough to contain. Particularly in the month of God bless you. Lord, bless your people. Lord, for everyone saying amen here today, the kind of blessing they have never received before in their life. In this month of oh God bless you. Lord, release unto us in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to hijack your blessing. Every power assigned to steal and to divert your blessing. Let God paralyze them in the name of Jesus. Before you step out of this place this morning, my God will bless you. I say, my God will bless you. My God, your God will bless you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And the blood of God will say it louder and a powerful. Put your hands together for Jesus. And go ahead and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I say make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Is that all you can do? The shouting side is the winning side. I say the shouting side is the winning side. Amen and amen and amen. You can please be seated. We seem not to have time. But God will help us to do the little we can. Just listen with rapt attention. But very importantly, I need to bring this information to your notice. We want to remind us once again that this mission had come up with Vision 2032. And Vision 2032 simply says that you as a member of this church must replicate yourself. Must also win a soul at least once in a month. Because we are targeting that by year 2032 the membership of the Redeemed Christian of God will have soar to 40 million. Praise the Lord. You are excited about that. Put your hand together for Jesus. And this is not an assignment for only the pastor or ministers or workers. It's for every member. 
And so this particular month is another month of explosive growth drive. What do I call it? Say it loud and clear. And so most of the things we'll be hearing this month have to do with what and what we can do to make sure that the church of God increase. Praise the Lord. Don't forget that none of us are happy with things happening in our nation. Am I correct? You are not happy with the terrorist attack. You are not happy with the kidnapping. You are not happy with the corruption in high places. Am I correct? But do you know, sir, do you know, ma, that if these people that we are complaining about get saved, that they will not do what they are doing. And that's why the solution to the challenges in our nation lies with the church. And so if you are sure of your salvation, we are encouraging you to go out there, witness to so, and bring them to the church of God and let them abide. Praise the Lord. So things we'll be talking about in our Sunday services, digging the faith clinic, are things that are geared towards explosive growth drive. Do I hear somebody say amen to that? So please, uh, every one of us, are enjoined to involve. And as you get yourself involved, this month team of God bless you, you will testify. Only one person is saying amen. I say you will testify in the name of Jesus. And so tomorrow morning, good morning, Holy Spirit, the topic and at the anointing service tomorrow is breaking satanic yokes. Breaking what? Whatever that have not allowed you to be blessed till now, that yoke will go. Amen. You are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Amen. So when you are coming tomorrow, invite somebody, come with your anointing oil, and believe God that this month you are going to be blessed. And don't forget that this night we'll be having our holy communion. The communion that the children of Israel took in the land of Egypt, and overnight they get blessed. Brethren, how many of all want to be blessed? Do you want God's blessing? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come and hear the relationship between blood and prosperity. Come and hear why men are involved in ritual killing because they want to be blessed. How will you that they have given the original allow the counterfeit to come and replace the original? Praise the Lord. These are the things we'll be sharing at the Holy Communion later tonight. I encourage you not to miss it. The time is 5 p.m. Particularly if you are sure that you want to be blessed. Don't miss tonight Holy Communion. Praise the Lord. The topic this morning, my time is fast spent, is God bless you. Tell yourself, God bless me. And then point to the pastor and say, Pastor, God bless you. Uh -huh. God bless you too. I say, God bless you too. Genesis 1 verse 28 And God blessed them Who are those? And God said unto them Be fruitful and multiply And replenish the air And subdue it And have dominion over the fish of the sea And over the fowl of the air And over every living thing That moveth upon the earth Praise the Lord And of course Psalm 67 verse 7 Psalm 67 verse 7 says, God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Who will God bless? <laughs> Beloved, what is blessing? Blessing is the opposite of causes. And where you have causes, you have hardship. Where you have causes, you have suffering. When you have causes, you have losses. But when we talk about blessing, blessings are from the Almighty God. Blessings are for whom? Almighty God. And the word blessing is a summon to forces on earth and in heaven to ensure that a destiny get blessed. And there is a destiny listening to me here this morning. 
It doesn't matter the number of demons from your father's house. They will not stop your blessing. I said they will not stop your blessing. Beloved, when we say God bless you, why must God bless you? Amen. Why must God bless you? Number one, it is only the blessings of God that make it rich without adding sorrow. Proverbs 10 22. Only the blessings of God make it what? Rich without adding sorrow. Can I pray for only one person? In that name, that's above every other name. The blessings of God that is coming your way will not come with sorrow. As a matter of fact, the blessings of God that is coming your way will take away sorrow permanently out of your life. The blessings of God will wipe away your tears. You are saying them and say loud and clear. Why are we saying that God bless you? Number two, God must bless you because it takes the blessing of God to make it great. Can I ask you, sir? Can I ask you, ma? Do you desire to be great in life? Oh, nobody responded. I said, do you desire to be great in life? Sir, ma, you can never be great in life without being blessed by God. It is only the blessings of God that make great. Because when you read Genesis 26, verses 12 to 14, the Bible says, Then Isaac saw in that land and received in the same year and hundredfold and the Lord blessed him and the Lord did what? what was the implication of the blessings of God upon Isaac verse 13 says and the man was great and the man did what? was great and went forward and grew until he became very great praise the Lord I want to pray for you I decree here this morning by the power that made God to be God nothing shall stop your greatness in your father's house you shall be great in this nation you shall be great oh you will become reference point of greatness and that is why I know my God will bless you because when God bless you you become very great can you tell your neighbor you are just fortunate to be sitting beside a great man? I believe that shout hallelujah. Can the great people in the house shout hallelujah? I thought your hallelujah will sound like hallelujah of great men. Tell your neighbor one more time you are looking at a great man. I mean a very great man. Tell your neighbor, you don't have to believe me. But I know I am great. Because the blessings of God is coming my way. To make me great. That that you have spoken with your mouth shall come to pass. Why must God bless you? Number three. The blessings of God upon the life of a man glorify his name. Amen. So, when you are saying God bless you, you are saying, Lord, let your name be glorified. Amen? And now pray for somebody here this morning. Oh, God will showcase his glory in your life. The name of the Lord will be glorified. You are saying, Amen, say loud and clear. That's why in that our text, and 67 verse 7, God shall bless us. And all the end of the earth shall do what? Shall fear him. You know that what? All the end of the earth will glorify his name. They will say, ha! You mean God can do this? Amen, somebody. God will bless you. Why must God bless you? Number four. His blessing takes away shame and reproach. Are you here this morning? You are ashamed? Are you here this morning? You have reproach in your life. Get ready because my God is about to terminate shame. My God is about to roll away your reproach. 
You are devil to say louder, amen. amen. In Second Kings chapter four, verse one to seven, there was reproach in the life of the widow or the sons of prophets. But as soon as the blessings of the law located her, the reproach and the shame in her life was taken away. I am praying for you. Every shameful situation in your life, the blessings of God will take them away. You are saying amen. Say it loud and clear. Why does God have to bless you? Number five. Maybe I will stop there and then move on. Brethren, God has to bless you because it is your inheritance. It is your what? Your heritage. Blessings of God is a man's heritage. And that is why in our text, Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, as soon as God created man, the first thing, the first pronouncement that God made over man is, I can't hear you, is, oh my God, is, ah, oh, you are not too sure. Look at it on the screen now. What was the first pronouncement? And God did what? Blessing is your heritage. And that is why I decree here this morning. But I don't meet moral and service. Every yoke of causes over your life that have not allowed you to be blessed shall be destroyed. Yeah. Then the question is if blessing is my heritage, if God must bless me, how can I make God to bless me? How can I make God to bless me? Number one. Brethren, thank God today is thanksgiving. Cultivate the habit of praising God. Cultivate what? How many of us are ready to praise God here this morning? You are ready to praise God here. Can you make a joyful noise unto the Lord? Amen? Because that Psalm 67 verses 7 uh, verses 5 to 7 says let the people do what? Praise thee, O God. Let all the people do what? Praise thee. He said, Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even our God, shall do what? Shall bless us. Brethren, don't joke with praising God. As a matter of fact, all throughout this month and beyond, the only garment you are permitted to wear should be garment of praise. Tell your neighbor, I don't, I'm putting on my garment of praise. Because I am ready for his blessing. If you can give God praise, listen to me, God is not a man that should lie. He said, let the people praise thee. Oh God, let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth in her increase. And God, even our God, shall do all, shall bless us. Listen to me. We are not just talking about ordinary blessing. If time permits me, you're going to be hearing about the various categories of blessing. Brethren, there are blessings and there are blessings. There are what? There are blessings and there are blessings. And do you know that blessing has voice? Amen. Do you know, sir? Do you know, man, that blessing hard voice? When your life gets blessed, you don't need to say it. The blessing itself will be talking and be speaking on your behalf. Very, very soon. Very, very soon. They will hear the voice of your blessing all over the world. You are saying amen, say loud and clear. He said, when you praise him, God will bless you. Even the earth, the whole earth will fear God. Get ready to praise him. Number two, how do I get God to bless me? Brethren, pay a sacrifice. Pay what? A sacrifice. Brethren, sacrifice comes with reward. Sacrifice comes with blessing. If you see a man telling you that he's sacrificing and there is no traces of blessing in his life, he's a liar. Caught me anywhere. <laughs> when you see a man that is sacrificing 
and there are no evidences of blessing in his life the fellow is lying because the first proof the first evidence of sacrifice is God's blessing and if you don't believe me ask father Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 22 verse 15 to 18 God challenged Abraham to sacrifice his only son the only son he loved most the only son he waited for for 25 years thank God for Abraham that understood the principle of sacrifice brethren look at our building project over there have you sacrificed have you given anything to what that project that caused you pain if you have not done so sir ma before dedication go and do it to give to the kind of blessing we are talking about go and sacrifice something that must cause you pain but David said I will not offer unto the Lord that that cost me nothing but then we are not joking when Abraham sacrificed Isaac when he obeyed God to sacrifice Isaac look at what God said to him and the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said by myself have I sworn Say the Lord because that thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son thy only son that in blessing I will bless thee and in multiplying I will do what? I will multiply thy seed at the stars of the heaven and at the sun which is upon the seashore and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemy and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice how about Solomon you want to be blessed sir sacrifice oh pastor is looking for my money who told you who told you who told you the money to do what we are talking about your life we are talking about secret of receiving from God go and check your bible from Genesis to Revelation even a hidden king shall let God in sacrifice cause he honor him Amen, somebody. When you see the life of some people waxing greater and greater, sir, man, go and find out their secrets. Life or sacrifice? Life or what? You can sacrifice your time, you can sacrifice your substance, you can sacrifice your intellect, you can sacrifice your materiality, you can sacrifice, you can sacrifice your profession. I pray for you my God will bless you. Number three, how can I get blessed by God as I begin to close because of time? By honoring God with your substance, particularly your first fruits. I know you don't want to hear things like this. I, I know, know you know, know that, that uh, by his grace, some of us are not the pastors that come to beg you to come and give all the charge card. If you are standing, if you are seated here in this auditorium, and I, as your pastor, have ever come to beg you for anything before, raise your hand and challenge me on this altar. It will not happen. And it can never happen. Do you know why? We understood the scripture. We practice the scripture. And the scripture works for us. Understand the scripture. Practice the scripture. And the scripture will work for you. Some of you, if, you, if, you, if they ask you to pay a tithe, you say, oh, pastor is looking for your money. Whose pastor is looking for your money? I pay myself. Because they bring all your tithe into my storehouse. Malachi chapter 3, reading from verse 18. He said, and I will open the windows of heaven. Amen. 
and call blessing to come upon you that there will not be room enough to, to contain. Amen. And some of us think that we are saying this because they want your money. No, sir. It works. It does what? It works. And God helping you. God is asking you to bring tent. You now challenge God, I want to do 20. You now challenge God, I want to do 30. You now challenge God, I want to do 90. God, take 90 and let me hold on to 10 and see what your life will become. Can I pray for only one person? In that name that is above every other name. This month of God bless you shall be your month. Let me give you one more time and we rise up to pray because my time is over. Brethren, you want God to bless you. Obey God. Obey, Obey who? Obey God. God. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 13. He said this blessing will pursue and overtake you. He said and it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandment which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above how all nations of the earth verse 2 and all this blessing hello and what shall do what shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Brethren, akin to the voice of the Lord thy God include repentance. You know you are living your life in a way that you are living in sin. Sir, ma, hearken to the voice of God and asking for mercy. You are coming to church, you have not surrendered your life to Christ. Hearken to his voice and surrender to him for your own good, for your own sake. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. The blessings are beginning to flow already. Ah, you didn't believe me. I said the blessings are beginning to flow already. The question is, are you prepared to receive your own? If you are prepared, the first thing to do is to come to him. All eyes closed. All heads bowed down. You are here. You are hearing me loud and clear. You are yet to surrender your life to Jesus. Or you've done so before and you backslided. He's giving you another opportunity this morning. Because he wants to bless you. Don't forget, only the blessings of God make it rich without adding sorrow. You can look for blessings from other sources, but they come with grave consequences. But if your blessings from God, it come with peace. It come with joy. It comes with rest of mind. As you close your eyes and you are here this morning, you want this blessing and you want to repent of your sins. You are the only one to wave your right hand and I pray with you in a minute and then we go into praising God. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. If you are raising that hand, just raise it above your head wherever you are. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. Raise the hand above your head. Raise the hand above your head. If you are outside, raise the hand. The angels of God are seeing you. Because today, windows of blessing will be open over you. If you are raising that hand, usher, can you help me direct them to the usher, to the altar? If you are raising your hand, can you please come now? If you are outside, you are raising your hand, can you please come now? Can you please come now? I'll count one, two, three. As I count, and you come, we pray with you, and then we continue. Yes, one. If you are coming from outside, can you come quickly, 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 quickly? Ushers, can you help me? Are they coming before I begin to pray? Two. I'm counting just three. Is there another person coming? Is there another person coming? Thank you, Father. Can we all please stretch out our hand to our beloved brother standing at the altar? If they are coming, let them come. Are they coming? Are they coming? Are they coming? Please come, please come, please come. Please come, please come. Can you begin to pray for them? That God will have mercy on them. God will save their soul. God will remove their name from the book of death and destruction. And rewrite their name in the book of life. Go ahead and pray for them. Please come, please come, please come, please come, please come. Come and join them. Please come, please come, please come. Please come, please come, please come. Please come, please come. Usher direct them. Please come, please come, please come, please come. Please come, please come. Pray for them, pray for them, pray for them. 
Pray for them that today will mark a turning point in their life. That their life will never remain the same anymore. Masuka basuntali. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Gracious Lord, all we asking, oh God, that you have mercy on these your children. Save their soul, redeem them from destruction. And Lord, rewrite their name in the book of life. And at your return, let them reign with you. And from today, oh God, release their blessing. Thank you, mighty Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. Bless of all, lift up your two hands to heaven. You can still come, you can still come. If you are coming, you can still come. You can still come, you can still come. You can still come. The rest of all, lift up your two hands to heaven. Uh, those of you standing at the altar, remain standing there. Maybe we finish praying this prayer. You just follow the counselors, uh, the sister raising that banner at the back. You follow her, and then they will tell you one or two things. But meanwhile, everybody, can you lift up your two hands and say, Father, help me now to do things that will make you bless me. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. Lord, help me to do things that will make you bless me. Go ahead, talk to him. Talk to him. Help me, O King of Glory, to do things that will make you to bless me. Help me to do things that will make you bless my family, my wife, and my children. Help me to do things that will make you bless me spiritually, physically, and in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. My brethren, please kindly go with our sister standing behind you. God bless you as you go. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. For this wonderful soul God has drawn to himself this morning. Hallelujah. Let's pray to our hand to our, our Father in the Lord. Let's pray for him. Only one prayer. I want all of us to pray for him this morning. Just say, Pastor, God bless you. God bless your ministry. God bless everything concerning you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Please, let's be seated because of our time. Amen. We have to run. Amen. For the benefit of some of us who are worshiping with us for the first time, kindly take a piece of paper and a biro. Whatever you desire from God in the course of this month, no matter how big it is, no matter how small it is, write in a piece of paper you are going to dance and place it on the altar of God. And then take a quality offering, thanking God in advance for what he will do for you in the course of this month. The usher is going to come to us and direct us as the choir begin to sing, let's please rise and dance unto the glory of God. Choir, please. Because of time, choir, we need to be at a jet speed. We have seven minutes. I have two minutes of mine. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Choir, please. Amen. So if you have written your own from, the home, from your home, could you please rise? Could you please rise and begin to dance? Let's Your rise, please. To God this morning, come please rise to our feet as we bless our Maker. I come before you today, and there's just one thing I wanna say. Thank you, Lord. Are you sure? Thank you, Lord, for all you've given to me.
worship, accept your sacrifice, and for all your requests, may they become testimony. Every of your petition this morning, this will be the last time you ever write on them. The power of conversion will transform them to testimony. And this month will be your best month. Blessings of God will pursue and overtake you. Everywhere you turn, you will be blessed. The work of your hand will be blessed. Your family will be blessed. Your business will be blessed. Your career will be blessed. Your profession will be blessed. Your destiny will be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every blessing you're supposed to have received till now. That you are yet to receive. This month, heaven will download them to you. Ah, I say you will swim in overflowing blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that negate the blessings of God will never be your portion. Go and prosper. 
Go and succeed. Go and make it. Go and reign. Go and be great. Go and bless. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. For we pray in Jesus' name. And the blood God said that. Amen. Three powerful I want to go. Put those hands together for Jesus. Sorry, because second service is supposed to have started by now. And so, let us not forget, this evening there will be Holy Communion by 5 p.m. And of course, tomorrow morning, Good Morning Holy Spirit. Tuesday, Digging Deep. Thursday, Fake Clinic. And Friday, all workers should not forget their prayer meeting by 7 p.m. And of course, Saturday will be our evangelism. And from next Sunday, the three services return. Shall we share the grace? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sinfulness of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, Lord, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you.